First and foremost, I want to thank my parents and my pastors for giving me this opportunity to speak with you guys. I am super excited for what the Lord has put on my heart, and I believe that the Holy Spirit is correlating things, because me and Lila have a very close message, but we did not collaborate, so I believe that the Lord really wants us to hear this message. I want to talk about letting love be the root of our identity. My first point is, it is essential to be fully convinced of Jesus' love for us. John 13, 13 verse 23 says, the disciple Jesus loved was sitting next to Jesus at the table. Obviously, John wrote it, so John's referring to himself as the one who Jesus loved. We should all walk and think in the same way John did. This wasn't, this wasn't that Jesus' love is exclusive to just him. He just began to discover God's infinite love, and it was so great that as he was writing this passage, that was more significant to him than his own name. That was his true identity. And we, when we discover the love of Jesus, we will want to change our name. We won't change that, but we'll change our mindset. When we change our mindset and Satan comes asking, why are you important? Why are you in this world? You say, I am blood-bought. I am loved. He saved me. So get out of here, Satan. I know my root is rooted in the fact that he loves me and he cares for me. That is how we defeat the identity crisis that Satan has put over this generation. My second point is, if you would like to strengthen your walk with God, deepen your roots into his love. Your identity is not rooted in God if your identity is not rooted in love. First John 4 verse 8 says, but anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. Without being strongly rooted in the fact that he loves us, we cannot unlock the full relationship with God that we are longing for. If we don't love, we don't know God. And if we don't know God, we got serious life problems. <laughs> Hosea 6 verse 6 says, I want you to show love, not offer sacrifices. I want you to know me more than I want burnt offerings. If you feel distant from God, it's possible that you've skipped a couple levels You've, you've tried building your house before you built a foundation. And what happens to a house that doesn't have a foundation? It falls over. So when testing comes and trials comes and you don't have a firm foundation, that's going to fall over. If a plant is cut off from its root, it's going to die. If you have a strong root, you're not getting pulled out. You're not getting blown over because you strongly affirmed in the fact that you are his son. You are loved. And... My last point is that there is fruit to the root. Ephesians 3, verse 17 to 18 says, Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. See, when you root your identity in the fact that God loves you, according to Ephesians, you will stay strong. You will begin to discover God's infinite love. You will be made complete. You will also have an overwhelming passion to do the will of your Father. You will not need worldly affirmations because you will stand firm on the fact that you are his child, his prized possession, and his wonderful creation. When we root our identity in love, we will see relationships restored, families brought back together, demonic strongholds broken, healing, salvations, and so much more. My prayer for you is what Apostle Paul continued with in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 19. He says, May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. What I want to ask us, what I want us to leave us here today with is, maybe we've skipped a couple levels. Maybe we've started building the house before we built the foundation. Let's go back and build that foundation. Deep in your roots. Because when you have that foundation, you will build skyscrapers. You will build monuments. You, your house will not fall over because you are strongly rooted in the fact that he loves you and he cares for you.